You start out with a practice of work in prayer, and it's so hard because work is a challenge in itself, let alone to make it go deeper and let it be a place of surrender and, and prayer. Prayer is really surrender. It's not what we do or the time we give or the practice we have. In the end, it comes down to surrender so that it's about God and not yourself. The Rule of St. Benedict was written around the early 500s. It's a very concise way of getting to all the basics of monastic life. Monastic life is geared to thinking about God, living for God, and just loving God and appreciating Him. The monastery wants to help us find ways in which we can fruitfully change and become a more loving person. Every human heart has a great desire to love. That's even stronger than our need to be loved. St. Benedict gives three chapters to the three virtues he considers the most important, and they are obedience, silence, and humility. Obedience is trying to get at those aspects of ourself that we would call, in monastic terms, self-will. The part of me that may be blind to where I'm being selfish, to where I'm wanting my own way. It's critical also in prayer, because in prayer we are wanting to be in union with God. We're wanting to hear God's voice. The more we obey, the more we follow God's leaning, the more we follow what the desires of others are. If someone comes to me with something that they desire or something, just a request, instead of thinking of all the reasons why this is gonna be difficult for me, I could think, how can I make this happen for the sister? We are ready to do whatever is asked by the superior. As the rule says, if we disagree or we really are struggling with it, we always, have the ability to humbly bring our concerns to the superior, but if she says, no, I want you to really do this, then we just do it to the best of our ability. Silence is very much at the heart of prayer. We are silent basically for one reason, and that's so that we can be in constant communion with God. It's very peaceful. It enables me to be more mindful, not only what I'm doing, about the presence of God. In silence, we start coming to grips with a lot of the things in us that are obstacles to love and therefore obstacles to prayer. The things in our past come up, all the things that are bothersome, all the things that are issues, they all need time and silence to surface. Ultimately, we hope silence will help us to grow in love. Humility is the virtue that makes me want to change. I'm open to teaching. I'm open to hearing what others have to say to me, what God has to say to me, without a need to defend myself, without a need to pretend I can become a much more genuine and honest person. Humility is critical for me to be able to let go and let God work in me, to wanting to change, to get rid of the stuff that makes me unloving, all the obstacles that prevent me from being the person I want to be. Now, as for obedience, when the bell rings, we stop what we're doing and go to church. <laughs> so so um, that's one of the expressions of our obedience. I just drop what I'm doing and, and go.